So I broke down yesterday what's going on on Aether and why it launched at the valuation it launched at. We're not talking about Moonboy stuff here. I'm going to be breaking down everything you need to know about Aether when it comes down to checker nodes, when it comes down to staking, when it comes down to where you run your nodes, the new Aether Edge sale, and so much more. I'm going to have spreadsheets, everything in between. This video took forever to make, so like and subscribe if you enjoy it, and let's get right into it. So this is where we're at with Aether today. It is at a $264 million market cap or at a price of 6.9 cents. There's a maximum supply, 42 billion Aether, and uh, you know, circulating supply right now of 3.78 billion, which is, which is a lot. It's a lot of tokens that are already out there. When looking at the actual allocations and the vesting for Aether, this is one of the reasons I actually like Aether a lot. They gave most of it to their airdrop as well as their ecosystem. I mean, the investors and the team, which get like, what, 20% of the supply, uh, they're not going to be getting their tokens for a really long time. <laughs> so uh, it's good to know that they're thinking long term, and that's always been the case uh, with Aether. So let's get into the first thing. You want to claim your tokens. You want to do staking. You just heard about it. You've been farming it. Where do I do it? Well, it's at claims.aether.com. Click on the website. Very simple. You enter the website. You put your wallet address. It'll tell you if you have any tokens to claim. If you do have tokens to claim, link your wallet and then claim your ATH tokens. I had a really good amount of tokens actually uh, that went ahead and were claimable. Good thing about this airdrop, you know, you look at the token unlocks, there are a good amount of people that still have quite a bit of these tokens to come out there. We got a 25% unlock and that, that was kind of fat. It was kind of a fat unlock for me personally because I bought a ton of Aether checker nodes. Now getting deeper into it, there is also another feature. If you looked at this document, there's two things. There was the claims and there's also staking. I'm very conflicted with staking. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I got into crypto.com staking once, lost a lot of money. Staking hasn't been the best thing for me. So personally, I haven't been one to be big on staking. But if you are, if you are someone that's big into staking, you've got stake.aether.com. And so what the entire point of staking is, when you typically do staking, you get tokens over a course of time. That's cool and all. But what they're also doing that I like is that they're going to be giving people uh, tokens with the partners that they're going to be using, which I think is really cool because a lot of people talk about use cases. They talk about, oh, we're going to be doing, uh, you know, GPU computing and cloud and, and this is cool and all. And we have tons of money doing this, but we never really get to figure out who's actually going to be using these products. So they're actually going to be giving us tokens from those people that are actually going to be using uh, the Aether GPU cloud computing service for whatever they want to use it for, whether it's gaming and AI. They have gone ahead and split it into two pools. And yeah, I mean, if we're looking at the amount of partners that they have, they have over 204 gaming studio partners. So just a metric ton of partners right now. Uh, it's pretty simple. You go ahead, get your Aether tokens, uh, you know, wrap them. You get two tokens, slap them on there, get rewards. It's easy as that. They've got gaming and AI personally. I mean, AI could be a bigger niche. Gaming has more partnerships right now with Aether. So as you can see there, there are more Aether tokens staked there. Depending on the amount of time that you do this, uh, you'll be end ending up getting more tokens. I mean, if you, if you do it for four years, let's be honest, like you're probably not getting that money back, but hopefully the airdrops end up making sense. I am waiting currently to see what the APR is before I go ahead and stake. But of course, you can do whatever you want and nobody is stopping you from staking all of your tokens right now. There are also cool things for people that are node holders that got in with us. There are six ecosystem partners across AI and gaming that are going to be airdropping us, which I think is pretty awesome. And I, I think also kind of explains what Aether's use case is, because some people just like they buy nodes and they don't actually look into it, which is fine. I mean, we're in a bull market. People just buy things to buy things. But this is what people are actually using Aether for. So Cookie3's use of the Aether decentralized GPU cloud to power its innovative marketing vibe shows how the Aether Deepin stack can support groundbreaking solutions for marketing. The marketing five solution championed by Cookie leverages AI functionalities to conduct complex operations and optimize marketing budget. So pretty cool. Uh, Play PlayFi also uses Aether's infrastructure to jumpstart gaming innovation with AI functionalities, empowering web two games to transition to web three. Let's be honest. A lot of this is like really complicated mumbo jumbo talk, but 
for the most part, they are using uh, Aether's infrastructure to power whatever it is that they are bringing forward. You know, some of the other projects, Diverse World, Aether Games, a Hybrid, and uh, ZK Candy, which I think is cool. I love that. I love that. I see. I love projects that are airdropping, and this is something that on top of you know your checker node distribution, you're going to have to add to your ROI sheet because it's not just Aether tokens that you're going to be getting. It's also a bunch of the different partners that they have that are going to be continually be doing airdrops onto these a checker nodes and something else if you are trying to go ahead and run these checker nodes because right now you can begin getting rewards with the checker nodes you've got about two weeks so don't feel like you're in a rush you don't have to make a decision today uh, but i've been using easeflow they partnered with aether they're their official partner with aether so i am very simple when it comes to this stuff you know um, I will also go ahead and show you how to claim your tokens for your checker nodes, but here's a very simple video on how to go ahead and actually do this stuff. I mean, they actually did this for us. I've already started doing my 15 checker nodes on EaseFlow, so very simple stuff. You go ahead, hop on the platform, click add node. After you click on add node, you put the amount of nodes that you want. And here's something important. They do 25 licenses per node. I have 15 licenses. I bought 15 checker nodes. So all I need to do is buy one of those. One of those and I get all I need for the entirety of whatever it is for the next 12 months. So super easy stuff. You put the length of time. I think they also have like a raffle going out there. If you do 12 months, uh, there's a 15% discount. If you go to the link in the description, I am going to have it. I asked the team, they were like, sure, we'll give you a code. It's code GM. You always got to have it. Uh, you pay deploy node. You can do it with a credit card. You do it crypto, connect your wallet, if you connect your wallet, you have all of your licenses already out there. It's going to say it. You're going to have the private key that you just generate there, and it's a burner. You delegate the licenses, and that's it. Very simple stuff. Nothing complicated. You're already out there. Boom. You're in there. Uh, another thing you should know is that if you are going to be wanting to claim your Aether, which, you know, I have Aether tokens, right? Uh, this is how it's going to work. You're going to have these VATH tokens. Uh, whatever amount it is does not matter. There is a 5 ATH transaction fee. So you're not going to want to go ahead and every single day, if you get 30 of these tokens, do this because you're losing like 20% of your tokens immediately. That really sucks. So I would say if you have a lot of nodes, you can probably get away with doing this every day. I personally, am, I'm going to be doing it like every week or every like two, three weeks. I'm not going to like force it, complicate it like crazy. And and that's how I will like uh, logistically do this stuff. You'll get this 5 ATH fee, super simple. You need 30 ATH tokens. You get that every day already. You choose a claim period. If you're doing 30 days, I think you're kind of insane. You know, you only get 25% of it. So they're pretty much forcing us to go ahead and, uh, and do the 120 day option, which gives us 100% of our tokens. Uh, they're going to be reverting this to 180 days. So it's going to get longer after October 10th. So they're rewarding the people that are getting their trucker nodes now, which the sales already ended. So, you know, you can't go ahead and grab it. But if you bought it, you get your tokens faster, which is always great. But the thing is, uh, there is KYC. I know there's people uh, from the US, from a lot of countries. I will tell you this, very simple. Get an RNS ID. <laughs> this is an ID that is going to be helping you for a lot of things in the crypto space when it comes to verification. Vitalik Buterin went ahead and minted his pass. There's tons of people in the crypto space that use Palau IDs. I know I'm sharing the alpha, but this has helped me get KYC for a lot of things, a lot of centralized exchanges. I mean, we should have our own digital sovereignty, so I heavily believe in this stuff. I'll also be leaving a link in the description for this, but this is how, you know, if you're looking to do KYC for this kind of stuff, this is how I'm going ahead and uh, and I'm doing it. In terms of rewards on Aether right now, I actually have the math because I've got in my rewards. Right now we're getting around 31.52 Aether tokens, which actually isn't a crazy amount. It is not a crazy amount. If I actually look at my spreadsheet, I've done the math on all this. I, I've, I've, I've spent way too much time on this, I know. Uh, they're gonna have Aether edges and they're gonna have Aether checker nodes. Let's talk about the Aether checker nodes first and then I'll get into the Aether edge nodes, which are uh, these little physical devices. I guess they're Aether edges. I don't know if they're necessarily like nodes, it's just infrastructure. It doesn't really matter what it is. So they're, you're getting 31 tokens per day right now. Keep in mind that 100% of nodes, this is like a grace period. They're just letting people do their thing. 100% of nodes are gonna be live until June 27th. So we're expecting rewards to go up 
on June 27th because I assume and it's almost a guarantee that not all 100% nodes are going to be live. I assure you the likely number is actually probably like 80%. Maybe even when we start, it'll be like 70%. I have no idea what the number is, but you're going to be getting more rewards because not literally everyone out of the 90,000 different nodes out there are going to be running it on June 27th. So very much rewarding people that are getting their day one. So they're going to be doing 4.2 billion ATH tokens over four years. Uh, they're also going to be giving airdrops, which we talked about the six partners and how they're already giving airdrops. So you got to add that onto the ROI sheet. And you also have to add the tokens that you've already gotten from the airdrop for the tokens just for the TG launch. So Clearly, we're a lot closer than the math here, but you get around 11,475 tokens per year. So the ROI is not incredible for the nodes alone, but with the airdrops, with the amount of, uh, you know, TVL, uh, people using this blockchain, hopefully in the future, uh, and just overall staking, etc., it should be good. It should be good. I don't know if it's going to be good, but it should be good. But an even more attractive offer, to be honest with you, uh, that I wish I got more of was, was these things. These things are like absolute cookers. Uh, now, they won't be cookers forever. They're only going to be cookers probably for the first year. Here's the math behind them, and then I'll go into like what they are. Uh, but they're giving also, you know, a lot of tokens. They're giving actually 23% of the supply, which is a, a lot of the supply. But year one, they're going to be giving 4.2 billion. So that's a, that's a good amount of it. That's like 10% of the total supply in just the first year, which is almost like 50% of all the rewards they're going to be giving for this. So it's very much lopsided toward people that are staking early on and buying these edges early on. So we're going to assume there's 100,000 edges here that are going to be sold over the next year. There are not 100,000 edges, probably going to have like 20K edges over the next couple of months. So the rewards are likely much higher than what I'm giving, but I like to give conservative estimates because I'm someone that doesn't like misleading people. I'm sorry. It's probably higher than this. So uh, these cost $999 if you use a 10% off. Code JM is our code for the 10% off if you're going to be buying these. Uh, it's going to be happening July 12th. They actually delayed it. I know my video yesterday said it was going to be today, but they just they ended up delaying it. It is what it is because of TGE, right? So you're going to be getting 42,000 ATH tokens on your first year, which is $2,938 per year. Well, not per year for the first year, which means that we should theoretically, if there are 100,000 of these, be getting ROI in four and a half months. Now, my math could be off, but that sounds really good. <laughs> like That sounds like incredible ROI. I mean, you've got 3,500 ATH tokens per month, which should be $244 per month. That's a lot of tokens. And that's a really quick ROI. Now, there's a catch to everything in life. Everything in life. It sounds too good to be true. It probably is. And so the catch is very simple for these little things. You have to go ahead and stake to activate these devices. The first 20,000 devices purchased uh, before June 12th will receive an ATH airdrop. So we're getting a little airdrop uh, that includes a portion of the tokens needed for the staking requirement. So yes, there is a staking requirement when it comes to this. It is not all going to be happy go camper time. So it kind of is what it is. And I am of the opinion that the ROI will still be fast. It will still be fast, but you will have to go ahead and tank those stake tokens at some point or another, right? <laughs> so I, I'm guessing the number is going to be shorter in the beginning. Like the ROI is going to be much faster for the people that get in now. Uh, but I also think it's going to be much longer for the people that get in later, only because you're going to have to be staking tokens to get this thing. And that is a caveat. Now, now the really cool thing about these things and the thing I'm really excited about these little puppies is that the token mining is going to start after Aether Edge's app launch on June 20th. It's only going to be on Android, so, yeah, I mean, it kind of is what it is. But it's only going to be <laughs> starting on June 20th. Why that excites me is because here are how many devices they've sold so far. 7,000 devices. And, uh, you know, 7,000 devices is a much lower number than this number over here that assumes 100,000. So the people that are getting in right now with only 7K, I mean, you got like 10X this. So a ridiculously quick, uh, at least what I think is going to be ROI for people that got in early. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. But it is looking, it is looking real good right now for people 
uh, with Aether edges. So if you're watching this video a year from now, the numbers will be much worse for you. I'm sorry. It's probably not going to be as good. Kind of is what it is. Early bird gets the worm. For people looking at it now, I hope I answered a lot of your questions when it comes to Aether. No, this was not sponsored. Just someone that spent a lot of money on Aether and figured that you guys would be interested in it. If you enjoyed the content, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.